Hi everybody, welcome to today's episode. Today it is very early in the morning and I just want to watch episode 14 of Startup. I want to know what happened yesterday after Ji Pyeong told Nam Do San, let's talk. Very dramatic ending, I need to know more. So let us start episode 14. What a dependable person. He knew exactly what to say. We ask ourselves the same question. You're never pathetic. Jinx. <laughs> oh no. She literally friend zoned and brother zoned him in this one scene. What is this? What's happening? He's so protective over her. How have you not fallen in love with him in three years? It took all of us one day. <laughs> okay. <sighs> yeah, what now? What are you gonna tell him? <laughs> Hashtag the brother zone. Team GPYoung lost. <laughs> Guys, Team GPYoung has lost. Somebody sent me the funniest meme about the let's talk scene. I'll like put it somewhere here. I actually cried. What? Mm. Liar, but it's okay. <laughs> this is gonna create so many misunderstandings now. And the only person who's going to be hurt is Han Chi Pyong. Because then, then, then Dami will have to like clear it up for him and tell him that, oh, she doesn't like you, but she likes Namdu san. We don't know. Oh my god. Oh my god. Communication? We know her. Honesty? We know her. Depression? We know that too. Even her, the names of both guys on her phone should tell you like who she likes. Like for Han Ji Pyeong, she put director Han Ji Pyeong. For Do she put Do -san. I'm sick of this baseball. Thank you. You don't have to see the baseball anymore. His business card is gorgeous now though. Honestly, the only grouping that should be together in this drama right now. They look so cool. Nam Jo Hyuk's proportions? Magical. Like an angel. <laughs> well, you guys walked out when your company was dying, so... If they have such a big problem with authority, they should just start their own company. <laughs> nice to see the human side of NJ. I'm watching Scarlet Heart Rio for on Patreon for like my Patreon users and NJ is also in it and I literally got so shocked. Those developer hoes! <gasps> Isn't that like infringing a lot of laws to sell your algorithm to other people whilst you're at another company? Don't you have like NDA NDAs? <gasps> you can literally sue them though, like... Can you? I don't know. But like that just seems messed up. Look at NJ. No. No. Get your hands off her. Literally. Hell yeah, NJ. Plant seeds of doubt. Go. Mm. Evil. I love her. Okay, I love NJ's character now. She's totally redeemed herself. <laughs> <laughs> Great description, Inje. 
You guys can literally just have another talk and clear up the air. Everybody looks so dumb. Guess we're going to go back to the old times before all the drama began. All of these people are going to pitch to them. Throwback. I think this is the most I've been shocked the entire drama. He just rejected her call. Who art thou? I'm shooketh. I am shooketh. Hi. Okay, this is more spicy. I like it. No way! She's getting divorced. Finally? Remember before, like, she, he said she wouldn't get a cent? Finally! The mother's getting woke! Yes, exactly. No, no, she's not. How did NJ not know this? It's been three years. Actually, I'm gonna keep saying the same words. It's been three years. Like, but it has been. Did nobody tell NJ in three years that Harmony's eyesight is getting bad? Is the communication that sparse? They work together every day. <gasps> Drama. Oh my god, this is so awkward. Somebody speak. Oh my god. Wow. I thought you would say, but eventually I knew you were lying to protect me. Was what? Was who? What? Oh my god. What do you mean? He said it with such a clear face too. Tell him you were lying. Hello, tell him you were lying. <sighs> the amount of misunderstandings that could be so easy to clear up. I was lying. I just said that so you can actually leave. Hello, don't say that. But if you're not gonna end up with Jipyeong, might as well clear things up with Nam Dusan so Jipyeong can go find someone else. Such unnecessary hurt and conflict, what's your point? Both of you. Drama couples frustrate me. I swear to God, I just don't know how it should have gone. The words that you used three years ago hurt me deeply. But I know you were lying because you wanted the best for me. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Yes, I know that, and I've spent the last three years pining over you. Me too, I've never gotten over you. Well, it should be clear then. Let's be together. Yes! Yes. Ji Pyong finds a wife. Whatever. I don't care. And has three kids and <laughs> lives happily on the other side of the world, away from both of them. End of drama. Woo! Finally, I was waiting to see when they'd speak. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Did Young Sunny get it? Yay, I love Ji Pyong's suit. This is so pretty. Ji Pyong, I just. just <sighs> An ill fated relationship. Oh my god, throw back to episode one where he saw her do that at the bus stop. The exact same smile too. R.I.P. When we had hope. Mm. The baseball never leaves. We get it. It's symbolism of their relationship. Get to it. <laughs> Communicate. <laughs> Communicate on. Is he going on like a bicycle tour? That's cool. I like that idea. 
I feel him. I went for like a three hour walk this morning. I was about to say he's probably freezing, but Korea isn't as cold as Canada. Like, that seems like still better than the weather here. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my god. Are you okay? Obviously not. <laughs> Neither physically or mentally. Oh, my god. Now India will finally come to everything familiar. Oh my god. I'm proud of Inji. Sorry guys, I just had like a little thought like what if I went up to my grandmother and she didn't recognize me like who is that? No. <laughs> Dami went all the way there looking for him. Oh my god. That's it, you won. <laughs> I've never seen that in a K-drama. A meeting in the woods. <laughs> you tell him, sister. I actually like their meetings now more. Like, this is much more K-drama-y and natural. Yes, you both love each other. Please tell each other that. Okay. I like this. This is romantic. Very vibey. Oh, it reminds me of the last episode of It's Okay to Not Be Okay. I have a hard time sleeping in unknown places. Says the person that fell asleep seven seconds when she with Ji Pyong. Poor her, she came all the way in her suit. Like, that's so uncomfortable. Anybody else like the brooding Nam Do San more? Then Cupcake oh. Nam Do San. Like, I like him better oh, like this. Tired. Look at her, she fell asleep sitting down. What? <sighs> Why can't you guys act like that when she's awake? I have so much to say at the end of this episode. Oof. I'm like gathering all of my thoughts. <laughs> Still my favorite couple out of the whole show. Oh, he's so prepared. What's that sound for? Green Mountain Tech. It translates to Samsan Tech in English. I knew it. Whenever they're on screen, I have to like tone down my cheeks. The neck pillow is back. Oh. I love your insight. Ooh. What is this one about? <sighs> now you do? We've been you. But I feel bad for you anyway. <gasps> oh my god. We forgive you. We forgive you too. Well, that was easy. <laughs> it only took half an episode. <laughs> oh, I'm getting goosebumps. Yeah, but that's. I'm too personally involved for that. He better be happy. He better be happy. Fighting. Oh. <laughs> I have so many thoughts. I'm just waiting for the end clip. <laughs> I love the mother's percentages. <gasps> oh. oh my god. That's so cute. <gasps> this is perfect with the OST. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Okay, okay. I have so many things to say. I thought I should dress more dummy-ish uh, for this talk. Okay, so let's get our thoughts together. Number one, I want her to end up with Nam Do San just because for the past three years she has been with Ji Pyong in the same country yet still pined over Nam Do San. So there's just no way that her feelings are strong enough to stay with Nam Do San. I mean, to stay with Ji Pyong solely. So we want her to be with Nam Do San. Having said that, Nam Do San in this episode was such such a breath of fresh air i genuinely loved him i loved how he put his foot down and he kind of like tried to get over her but couldn't and then she came back into his life the wood scene was so nice like it was more romantic than any of the other things that they did i understand that the writer gave them three years break to kind of realize that they liked each other for each other and not anything to do with Ji Pyong, a first love and the letters so i understand why that plot line was used like the time break as for Ji Pyong and yang san i am so happy they had their talk like that is what i was waiting for after the past few episodes of like misunderstandings we know now that that Yang-san has completely matured and they both apologized to each other which I thought was fantastic and as for Chelsan and Saha my favorite couple from the entire show I just love them together I think they're so cute together like especially now like it's been a few years and they still like each other like and they're both super sophisticated now and like all of these things so like I just I just love their pairing and I can't wait to see like a five-year jump to see like their cute little kitties around like I have 100% hope that they're going to stay together for like a very long time. Ji Pyeong. Now that we know that Nam Do San and Dami are forever going to end up together, which we knew from the cover art of uh, this drama anyway, but now that we know that they're going to end up together, I do not like the fact that in the next two episodes from the trailer, it seems like Ji Pyeong is still kind of like the third wheel in their relationship and kind of there's still a love triangle. I thought by now that at least they would have had like a tiny break and that Ji Pyeong, now he realized like he's she still loves Nam Do San like he did all of these things for her but she was still hugging Nam Do San's blazer in her office right so like after all of this you'd think that like Ji Pyeong would also move on and I really hope that he does I saw a comment somebody commented this morning that was like I have a feeling that this um drama is going to end up with an open ending for Ji Pyeong which I think so too. I think Ji Pyeong is not going to have a happy ending or a closed ending. It's going to be open all like he's going to figure out his life, which no, I wanted him. I wanted his story too. Like I understand this is like Dami and Nam San's story, but I also wanted his perspective. So I'm sad that we're not going to get that, but we will see episode 15 and 16 is still next week. And I think that's all of my rant for today. I wanted to go through some of your comments before I leave, just so we don't get anything missed. Also question, if anybody actually reached the end of this video, I know you guys are <laughs> true watchers. What do you guys think of review videos? I was thinking of just making some videos where I like review new dramas and old dramas. Um, just like, you know, cute talk showing you guys like some scenes and things like that. Tell me your opinions in the comments. I would really, really, really appreciate second thoughts. Christine said, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like Ji Pyeong is going to end up being a brother figure to Dami. That's why he's kind of protective in the preview. I swear if it ends up that way, I'm going to riot in front of the TV end building. Guess we're all going to riot in front of the TV end building because that's exactly what's going to happen. Star Raina Bell says, exactly, I totally agree with you. I don't get why everyone blames Ji Pyeong when it's clearly not his fault. Yeah, it was never his fault. Yeah, he did nothing but be patient and help them. They don't even know how he helped them secretly a lot of times. It's just so stupid that I can't get myself to pity Nam Do San, even Chelsan and most importantly Young San. Even the death of his brother isn't Ji Pyeong's fault in any way. Everyone blames him so he blamed himself. I pity Ji Pyeong so much and I just want him to be happy. I know literally what I liked about this episode was that that Ji Pyeong and Young San misunderstanding finally cleared up. Honestly as a plot line it was completely unnecessary. We didn't even like we, it wasn't it didn't do that much to the story you know what i mean so like i'm glad that's over a lot of people talked about how dami is perfect for gp because she notices like all the subtle things he hides from other people but y'all i think these are all empty like hopes now <laughs> Everybody's like that they have a headache too from last week's episode. I just want GPM to be happy. Most of the characters frustrate me. I don't care if he'll not end up with Dami. She doesn't deserve him. GPM is too good. I prefer Dami and Jipyong. I think Alex is the kid who really won the competition in Doosan's childhood and I think his purpose is to help Doosan. 
I think Alex's story, like I agree by the way, a lot of people think that, but I think that Alex's storyline is completely over and apparently he didn't have any like hidden meetings. So for all of the people that are replying back to the fact that I watch one night, two days, I love your comments. I've been reading them and I cannot wait to reply. I'm just waiting until I finish like a few more episodes so I can reply back to you in like with strength of like knowing exactly what I'm talking about. But like, yeah, I see your comments. I love them. Thank you so much, you guys, making me feel less alone. As per usual, I love you guys so much and I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I cannot wait to join you guys next week for the last two episodes of Startup. And as for Tale of the Nine Tailed, I will be releasing episode 15 and 16 on YouTube this week. Um, episodes 9 to 14 will be up on Patreon. So I hope you guys enjoy the next couple of weeks of video and that you will stay here. Love you guys. Bye.